Hello and welcome to Orion Tech Tips Game Performance Fortnite. Alright, so we'll be playing Fortnite at uh, what are we, we are playing at Fortnite, sorry, at, uh, with the RX 580 8GB, Ryzen 7 1700X, and 32GB of RAM. Uh, DDR4, 2666MHz. I will, or should I drop? Uh, disclaimer, I am not very good at the game. Alright, this is a good landing spot. Uh, no, no, it's not. God, I, w worst thing that could happen is like, uh, like I don't want to just like die, because you know I am not very good at the game. <laughs> You've seen me and Call of Duty Blackout. We don't go together very much, to say the least. All right, here's a little house. The only problem is, I know that there's people around. So, can you just, like, hide? Oh, no, no weapon. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, let's just go up these stairs. Alright. I can't just go in there. Okay, anyway, pay attention to the frame rate. So we were playing at competitive settings. So I'll just show you right here. These are the settings we're play we are playing at, which are the same settings that I would guess you would play at because usually with um, with most other games like Battlefield, Call of Duty, uh, Fallout, uh, what else we got? Sunset over well, not so sort of an old game. Grand Theft Auto Five, The Witcher Three, uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen, Double May Cry Five, Metro Exodus, uh, Anthem. You know I could just name them forever. You just want like Division Two, Resident Evil Two. <laughs> just name them forever. You want, like, all maxed out, but with Fortnite, there's really no one that plays it all maxed out, because that would just give you a disadvantage. So that is why I am testing this game. So we like, pick up his E. <laughs> I'm used to be... I've been playing some PUBG lately, so I'm just used to pr pressing F. What is this? I don't want that at all. I'll take this. Is this heavy bullets? Wait, I fly back. Hold on. So if I'm like right here, see? Huh. Okay, interesting. Well, I love this just one, two, three. Oh, God, I need to get in the circle quick. Alright, so we are easily maintaining what- Ah, shoot, okay. Alright, so now, um, let's keep talking performance. As you can see, the GPU, we're barely using any VRAM. We're like 1.5 out of the 8, so you can easily play this game with a 4 gig RX 580. Um, what else is there? The CPU, honestly, you don't need an 8-core 16 3rd CPU to play this game. Well, especially not low detail. 
well, mostly everything is at low. Uh, view distance is at high, so you can actually see. Um, and then RAM, we are using, mm, uh, I guess, about, well, I guess 9.4, so round that to 9. Goodbye to RAM. You... I, my statement still stands strong. I do not recommend you play video games, and especially not modern video games, with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe, like, those browser-based games would work with 8 gigabytes of RAM, but then even if you have, like, too many Chrome tabs on, it would still stutter, and it would just be no fun. Like, even daily use, I'd still recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM, just to be safe. And since you guys, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, and that is because I am a content creator, and I do edit my, like, I do, like, do editing, and I do live streaming, so that is why I need 32 gigabits of RAM and this 8-core CPU. The GPU, I'm more flexible on, but the CPU and the RAM, I need, like, power, I need, like, powerful CPUs and a ton of RAM. Um, the CPU, another thing is the CPU is clocked at 3.8 gigahertz. And if you are wondering, well, like, if you are, like, wondering, is that enough, it will benefit. Well, first, firstly, yes, it is enough. Just look at the frame rate we're getting right now. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, or even, I wouldn't recommend this, but a 240 hertz monitor. I wouldn't recommend it with this GPU. If you do have one, I'd recommend probably either like a Vega 64 or a Radeon 7. Those are if you can, can get your hands on it. And then with NVIDIA, I'd probably recommend something like uh, an RTX 2070 would probably do. Or I guess an RTX 2080 would also do. And, you know, um, so we are using about, uh, four cores. We're not cutting into the hyper threading yet. Uh, yeah, you know, um, take a look at the RPM. And just, that's just noise. How, like, fast the GPUs need to work. I didn't really apply a serious overclock to the uh to this gpu but yeah that's about it i'm i i'm not going to mention my oh we're about to do combat here watch the frame rate watch the frame rate oh that's what you can do with that pistol <laughs> that slipped my mind that's actually a really good idea Nice. Okay, we still stayed above 144 frames consistently. That's just what I was noticing. What's what? Or is this more combat? Okay. This guy's really good, I gotta say. Don't die here. Still watching the frame rate. After this battle, I am going to go ahead and end the video because that's about all we need to see here. Let me know what game you want to see next in the comment section. Because I am open.
Alright, there we go. Alright, so... I That is the pr overall performance that you can come to expect. If you guys want me to do like a maxed out uh, performance video like I do with my other games, then definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know that you want to see that. Otherwise, I don't think I'll do it because I haven't seen really anyone do it, so I don't see a point in me doing it unless you guys want me to. So, again, let me know what games you want me to test with this build, and until next time, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, peace out!